So this is a video in the series of Excel videos to introduce different functions of Excel to staff for use. Um, these videos will be highlighting uh, a different function each week, uh, give you how I've used this function in the work that I've done, and hopefully provide you some ability to understand if this function makes sense for you to use on a project either currently or in the future. Uh, the function I'm going to talk about today is index match function. So this function was used to create a energy end use split for different regions and different space uh, or end use types. Uh, so this table down here has the different end use categories of space heating, cooling, fans, domestic hot water, lighting, and miscellaneous equipment and regions. Um, this was done because of a spreadsheet that was looking at different regions and understanding the uh, energy use per end use category for each of these. So what we're trying to do in this spreadsheet is determine what percentage of electricity and what percentage of natural gas would go to each of these categories. So then we could then apply the actual utility data that we get on site to estimate how many kilowatt hours or uh, therms go into each category. The function that was used was index and match function. Uh, this function allows you to look at a table with both column row, uh, headers and row headers uh, to uh, return the formula or the, uh, the value that matches that. Uh, and so as you can see up here in cell A3, it's South Atlantic region. So that's one of these regions here that's located in row 15. We've got our column B, which has the electricity or natural gas associated with each of these end uses. We have the different end uses that match the table down here in A16 through 21. And what we're trying to do here is get the match so that based on what region and what uh, space uh, heating end use, what is the value that it will return. So for here, the South Atlantic returns a value of 11. And the way this is done is by using the index formula. So you type an in index. The first thing that it asks you for is the array. The array is the table itself, just the values. So as you can see, it's B16 through J21. And then for the row number, because we're trying to match a actual uh, name, not a number. So for like a VLOOKUP, we might use a number for how many rows or how many columns over it is. For this, we want to use the match function. And so for row number, we type in match. We reference the cell, which is C3, which is space heating. We reference the lookup array, which is A16 through A21. And the match type is a zero. So what we're looking for with a zero is an exact match. So if you have this function and you're trying to get a closest match, you can use uh, other numerical uh, values in this, like zero, one, and two, each of those meaning something different on how it's going to create a non-exact match and how it's going to return a value. And you can look those up by uh, doing some research on the match function. But since we're using it for an exact value, we put zero in. And then for the column, we're doing the same thing as before, except for now we're referencing the cell reference is this South Atlantic. The t uh, lookup array is these columns. And again, it's a zero match type because we're looking for an exact match. And so again, what this function is doing is it's looking at this table and it wants us to, uh, it wants to give us the value for the row space heating and column South Atlantic by using the index and match functions. And as you can see here, as you change this, if I change this South Atlantic to 
west, north, central, this value that was 11 has now turned to 21 that now matches this space heating as well as all the other values within this row. The other thing that was done was we're determining whether this is a um, value that's going to get applied to electricity or natural gas and these all we're doing is looking at the if functions of just at saying if this equals natural gas put it in this category if this equals electricity put it in this category so it's just returning so that only natural gas using end uses get put into the natural gas column only electric using end uses get put into the electric column and then for allocation of the actual energy units that we have we're just taking the total of um, all of the end uses added together and we're taking the end use and dividing it by the total and so these all together uh, both on the electric and natural side equal 100 percent so again, this is my use of the index and match formula. I felt that it was a very good formula for me to use in this case, and I've used it in a couple other cases since. Uh, if you have any other questions about the index match formula, there's a bunch of videos and texts that are related to it by Googling it.